This, number two is the belief that you can change your child. Okay. So let's dive into this misconception. So from birth to adulthood, we carry these children in our room, our womb, or we adopt them, whatever the case may be. We care for them 100%, right? We're responsible for everything. We're responsible for their safety, for their food, education, like the whole shebang, right? And we, we're mostly loving it, right? It's stressful, but we are doing it all. And then fast forward and most moms like myself, I'll raise my hand to that. You forget that there's a time to start letting go. And we have to start letting, we all make mistakes. In fact, that's where we learn, right? But we've, we, I say, I, this is what I did. And I, I see this in a lot of parents is we forget to let, start letting them make those mistakes while they're still under our roof. And I think that's crucial. Like I said, I did that. I kind of skipped that step. If I could have a do over, that would be one of them. Um, instead of trying to control everything, not in a bad way, but just out of a, in love. Like this was my, my love language. I just wanted to do all, everything for, for all my kids. Um, but maybe this is you, maybe this is you, and maybe you're dealing with that too. So change must come from within for me, for you, for our kids, for everybody. So true change can only come from within because it requires a personal commitment and willingness to make a change. And I think everyone could agree with that. So many of you are probably like I was where, like I said, trying to change her, I was trying to fix everything. And like I said, it, I am not the one that changed her in the end. And to think that we can do that to another person, you're just going to be more frustrated. And because we try to play God, we try to change another human being when really he's the only one that can change their heart in those types of situations. So change requires self-awareness, you know, to make meaningful change, we have to be aware of what needs to change. Kind of like with my drinking, I had to be aware and trust me, I tried to quit on my own thousands of times um, with no success for over, over several years and kept that pretty private because it became, I, I felt like I was going to fail and fail and fail. And I didn't want anyone to know. Right. So when we are self-aware, it requires um, introspection, uh, which only you can do for yourself. No one else could do that for you. Someone from the outside can look in and say, oh, this needs to change. But until you realize that needs to change, it won't. And it all change also requires personal motivation. So you have to have that co motivation, commitment to change. And like I said, it's not enough for someone else to want you to change. You have to want it for yourself. So without that personal motivation, it's unlikely that the change will be sustainable. It might happen for a little while, but probably won't be sustainable. And then it also involves taking responsibility, which is a big one. And we have to be responsible for our own actions, for our own choices. You know, we can't be blaming others for your behavior or behavior or expect, you know, someone else to make the change for you because that's really impossible. Um, so we have to take ownership of it and then work towards work towards the change. You know, I think we all could agree that change happens, but there's always resistance, right? When we go to make a change, you're, I promise you're going to have resistance uh, in some manner, right? So whether, whatever those obstacles are for you, when you're trying to make this change, you know, whether they're internal or external factors, they require personal effort and determination and this willingness to keep fighting. And I know it's easier said than done. And this is when it gets hard. And this is when lasting change will happen is when you can overcome these obstacles. And so change leads to personal growth. Once, you, once you're willing to ride that, um, the ups and downs of that, and then that's when the personal growth will happen. And so um, I, I hope that those kind of help you understand that you really have no control over changing your child. It comes from inside. And so it doesn't matter how good your intentions are or how good my intentions were. It's not going to happen because my job and your job is to change us, right? Just to improve us um, as a human being.